Hampshire track coach is out of a job after making it clear that he wasn't going to make his athletes wear masks. I'm Paula Evans. And I'm David Wade. The former coach at Pembroke Academy says even though it cost him his job, he is not backing down from his beliefs. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse spoke with him today. I just think people haven't pushed back, and I decided it was time to push back. Brad Keyes was fired this week as the track and field coach at Pembroke Academy in Pembroke, New Hampshire, and he has been outspoken about it online. I made my choice, he made his. Keyes says he was not going to force his athletes to wear masks while competing. Masks restrict breathing. There's no question about it, especially think about running full speed. The wind is in your face. It's shoving the mask back into your nose and your mouth. He's one of my favorite people to run with. Junior David Tesserman agrees with his former coach and is concerned about running with a mask on this spring. It gets you really tired, especially on, uh, you know, it's going to get up to 80 degrees soon, um, and it's going to be really hard for us to, to keep doing what we like to do. The New Hampshire Interscholastic Athletic Association's outdoor track guidelines recommend that athletes wear a face covering during competition. So they'll be separated by a lane, which is about six feet. Key says the masks are okay while the team is on the bus, but he does not think they're necessary outdoors. Do you wear a mask yourself? Uh, I wear a mask where I have to. I'll wear a mask when I go into stores or any, any private business that wants me to. I... Based on what I've read, honestly, I don't believe they do much good. We reached out to the superintendent's office about Keyes' firing, but they did not get back to us. Reporting from Pembroke, New Hampshire, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. Mike, thanks.